Lookout Mountain is 83 miles long and here above Little R River Canyon. We're a good bit above it now and feel the breeze. <laughs> Things are beginning to pick up. I guess the air coming up from down below. Strange plant there. Look at the flowers just now opening up, hanging down, blowing in that breeze. The ones that look like a fringe on yeah, a surrey. It looks like a fringe on a surrey, and fringe tree is one of the uh, common names for that. Old man's beard or gray beard is another name for it. Really blowing, though, in the wind. Springtime flowers, they won't last long. Leaves are opposite on that tree, doing very well. And then look what's in the top. A tubular flower. Yeah, it's a vine that's climbed up into the top, flowering early, and then it's, it's rather nondescript. Cross vine is the common name for that. Tubular flowers, of course, uh, hummingbirds would enjoy that, and so would lots of insects coming to get nectar right in the top of that tree. Flowers everywhere. Look at here on the ground. And, and we saw these, you know, all along the way here. It's a violet of some One of the kind. violets, but look at the leaf. That's not a regular looking violet leaf. It reminded someone of the closed up foot of a bird, so bird's foot violet is the uh, common name. And doing very well here in the springtime. Such a beautiful and delicate little flower, and what a beautiful place Lookout Mountain was for the Woodland Indians before the time of Christ and more recent years, the Cherokee Indians who hunted up here. Mm -hmm. And this park does give us a good opportunity to get some spectacular views in a, in a very safe way. Just take a look a magnificent at that canyon. canyon. Yeah, it's really so much deeper than it was where we were a little while ago. Rock outcropping on the far side and then the near side. Where's all the rock that used to connect those two? Gone down the river, Gone I guess. Gone down the river. It's the work of Little River right down there that has made this canyon what it is. You know, we, and I'm sure people wonder, how does a river begin and form and flow on top of a mountain? All right, well, that's a real good question. You know, that's, uh, that's, that's the big question here. What about the layering of rock that we're looking at there? How did those rocks form first off? I guess when an ocean or shallow sea was right. here. Right. Sedimentary rock, the limestone was in oceans. The sandstone was piled up on top of that, probably in a, could be a freshwater or an ocean situation, compressed to form layers of rock. And then something happened about 300 million years ago. Africa bumped into North America, folded a lot of rock to the east, caused this rock to begin to rise and up form a plateau. Came the river as well at the same time? It was the river was here down. perhaps at that time or soon thereafter and as the rock came up the river began to cut down. And just look off in this direction now if you want to talk about a deep canyon see that's what 800 feet maybe down there in the distance. Very sheer walled relatively narrow canyon and the only way to get that is to have, have uplift occurring at the same time as a river is cutting down through the rock and that's exactly what's happened here. And that river then, somebody wanted to talk about an old river. This is an that old is river. That is an old river. That river has been flowing a long time and now it's taking material that used to be here, carrying it down and eventually dumping it into the uh, Gulf of Mexico, I guess at Mobile Bay. This has been called the, the largest canyon east of the Rockies. Well, it is a phenomenal view and you see the plants, of course, that have come in and, and filled in the sides there, but the river is still slowly but surely wearing it even deeper and cutting it even wider than it is right now. Let's see if we can figure out how to get down to the bottom of that canyon and take a look at it from the bottom once again. 